Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your Tarot Love Readings. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here in relation to love. We are going to try and focus on your special someone here and their energy emotionally and internally and see whether they have feelings of love or lust for you. As always guys, these messages are general so please be mindful of that throughout this spread. For those of you that are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section. Okay, so the messages here are intended for Sagittarius Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus Rising. And to those of you that may be of curious minds in dropping in to Crosswatch. got the three of swords the eight of pentacles the high priestess the ace of cups in reverse judgment in reverse and the king of swords here okay a lot of air energy well strong air energy actually gemini libra and aquarius um goodness this is someone who's hurt you you're wanting to know whether this person has loved you because they've hurt you deeply or you've hurt them the both of you have hurt each other. The both of you might have been toxic at each other, uh, for each other, sorry, at some point. There might have even been a third party situation here with the Three of Swords, okay? Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak. It really is. It's, um, you know, it represents the pain that's inflicted by someone's heart, by someone's sorry, intentions, their words or their actions here. To me, the raining clouds here are tears that flow here. It's... It's heartbreak, it's a separation here. Um, the downpour of rain to me is indicated, is an indication of the tears or the emotional effect that this pain has had on someone here. Um, it's, it can symbolize a low point in someone's life as well. Um, okay. All right, so someone here has hurt you um, very deeply here. And you're wanting to know you're wanting to know whether there is still potential here whether this person still loves you or you know whether where to go from here um, see pain is a normal part of life and I feel like whenever the three of swords he pops up it's 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 a reminder that during times and moments like these you, you sort of have to you're best served by listening to your mind, your, your logic, your intellect, rather than your emotions here. Yeah. So for some of you, I feel like don't let your emotions cloud your judgment here when it comes to this connection, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like you were betrayed by this person. This person deceived you. They were dishonest with you. There might have been a third-party situation here. Um, maybe this is someone who disrespected you and who's hurt you on, on a very deep level here. But it's that very suffering that I feel like is going to make you stronger. So if there is a possibility for reconciliation here, I feel like there is going to be a lot of work. Okay, If the two of you will want to reconcile here, Sagittarius, I'm seeing that the two of you will need to cooperate with one another in order to make it work. Notice how the young male here, he's etching the star on the pentacles, but there are, of course, two sides to each pentacle. So, you know, there is, whilst there is your side, your side of the pain and the hurt, um, your side of the story, there's also their side, okay? So we have to take both sides into consideration here. Um, and there's also, you know, speaking about sides, it's like, and just going off the Three of Swords here, you know, you are given a choice. Well, sometimes life gives us no choice, but even when you get knocked down, I feel like you still, have, or, you know, you get to this place of um, emotional anguish, you still have a choice. You can either let it strengthen you, you can, you know, remain um, knock down or you can rise again and let it strengthen you so you know again you, you are presented with choice and not choosing is also a choice here so with the eight of pentacles I'm seeing that you know there is going to need there is going to be a lot of work here there is going to be a lot of work um, in order to fix this in order to repair what the two of you once had or in order to build on this connection here some of you I feel like you might have even been <clears throat> 
living together or wanting to invest or buy a property with this individual with the eight of pentacles here so you know you have long-term visions here you you were serious about this person you were committed to you know to this connection to the idea um you're very loyal you you were wanting to make it work here sagittarius With the Eight of Pentacles, it is earthly energy as well. And I'm seeing that for some of you, for some of you, because of the cards here, I feel like I'm getting that you need to look at things from a logical perspective, from a logical standpoint here. I'm also getting that um, this may be... It's hard to say because I feel like maybe you're feeling really overwhelmed, too overwhelmed for emotional reconciliation. I feel like there is a strong indication of a reconciliation on the cards, but not just yet, right? Not just yet because I feel like there is still that emotion here, that heartbreak, those feelings of emotional anguish. They're still fresh. They're still very raw here. So I am seeing that it's a bit whilst you may be open to the idea of recon reconciling with this person reconnecting here and maybe trying to give this a second go or another emotional start not just yet though not just yet or maybe this is their energy and this person you know the reason why they've not reached out to you is because they're just not ready to do that they're not ready to face the consequences of their actions or they're not ready to take you know to be held accountable for their actions or they're just not ready to sort of open up here and be um, emotionally vulnerable and honest with you here The Eight of Pentacles does sim uh, symbolize commitment, though, and um, having high standards in the connection here. So, you know, if this is you, Sagittarius, if you do have, if you hold your romantic interests, your lover here to high standards, make sure you don't lower those standards for anyone, okay? And with the High Priestess, I feel like, she, you know, she does, whenever she lands in your, t in your tarot spread, the outcome of the situation is not yet known. Um, not, not only because there's this air of mystery that surrounds her, but I, I feel like, in combination with the rest of the energies here like things are up in the air there is a possibility for reconciliation but i feel like you're not ready yet and because with the judgment here that's you know popped up in reverse here whenever it lands in your spread it's often a strong indicator of either a beginning or an end um, and here i feel like you're either working to because i feel like you know this could go both ways i feel like you're either working on trying to end this um Okay, whilst you're, whilst you're still emotionally invested, maybe you just, you, you can't find it in your heart to forgive this person. For others of you, I feel like you're trying to try and work through this emotion and try and work through what's happened between the two of you and you possibly want a fresh emotional start. But not just yet from what I can see, because I feel like it's still a bit, all the emotions are still too fresh. It's still too raw here to deal with. Mm -hmm. It's repressed emotions. The Ace of Cups and the High Priestess here is very big on intuition. So for a lot of you, I feel like the message here is to let your intuition guide guide you. You know, if you feel it in your heart that you you know this person still has very strong feelings for you, there's a possibility to reconcile here. Then your intuition is obviously trying to communicate something to you, or is trying to validate your emotions. So you know, try and listen to your inner voice. Try and still your emotions and just listen to your inner voice and what it is that it's trying to communicate to you because for some of you your inner voice here is faintly whispering something to you something to your ear but i feel like some of you are maybe too you know you're too emotional to hear it now okay um and with judgment here in reverse uh, i honestly feel like I feel like some of you are, yeah, I feel like some of you are ignoring something key. You're either ignoring your inner voice or you're ignoring some sort of call. I feel like your intuition is trying to communicate something to you about this person or the situation, but you're not listening here, Sagittarius. You're ignoring it. Um, whatever it is, maybe for some of you, your intuition is telling you that, you know, this person, maybe this person will always be someone that you love or, you know, they, you will always be someone that they love, but maybe you're better off being apart from one another. So, or maybe your intuition instead is trying to communicate that, yes, this person might have hurt you, but there is still love, there is still something to work with. I feel like there's something here that 
is I feel like you're avoiding something here, you're avoiding judgment of the situation, or you're avoiding listening to that inner call here. And with the King of Swords, the fact that he's popped up in your tarot spread to me is an indicator that you know you have to your emotions are running rampant right now, okay? And whilst this person has hurt you, I feel like they're still emotionally invested in you. They may have a funny way of showing it here, but I do feel like there is still emotions there. I still feel like there's something there. There's something to work with. There's ability for you to reconcile. It may not seem like that now. Maybe you're too hurt here. Or just you're not ready for, you know, to proceed or to move forward from this. And that's okay. Take your time because time heals all wounds here. Uh, well majority anyways but with the king of swords i feel like it's important to look at this from a logical standpoint from a logical perspective okay judge the situation logically make sense of what's happened make sense of this you know of this betrayal of this hurt or this pain make sense of it because i feel like going forward if the two of you want to reconcile if you look at things from a logical um, standpoint it'll sort of help you to sort of avert any misfortune in the future, especially with regards to this connection. Um, so yeah, because your emotions are clouding your judgment here. They're valuing your judgment. So look at it from a logical perspective. Because there's something you're not seeing or there's some, some sort of call you're ignoring here. Okay, so, you know, does this person love you here? I feel like they have feelings for you. But I feel like they're emotionally scattered here. Because they hurt you in the manner which they did, I feel like they've come from a place of emotional confusion. So whilst there may be feelings here, feelings of love, I feel like there may also be denial or there may also be a lot of confusion. Okay, Saj, and there you have it. So thank you guys for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, sharing. I will be sharing with you more general tarot love readings throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thank you guys again for your time and your attention. Bye for now.